You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have a fan favorite, Cheryl Opper Thank from you. School on Wheels. Welcome. Nice Thank to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me back. You are having your sixth annual Outrunning Homelessness event. Yes. Correct? Yes. We're looking at April 30th, mm -hmm. which is a Saturday. That is a busy weekend in Metro South, let me tell you. Um, fifth year, as you told me, that Crescent Credit has been your lead sponsor, great community organization. Yeah. I remember one of the Metro Souths being over there at their headquarters when they were talking right. talking it up. last. I think it was last year, yeah. as a matter of fact. So tell us what's new and different about this year, or is there anything new and different, or is it just for a good cause? Well, I think every year is a new year and, and uh, has the opportunity to bring in new people from the community. Um, what's new this year is, is that Brian Shackman from NECN News, who mm -hmm. was our um, gala MC is going to be there this year and we're excited to have any CN news has really been supporting us um, in a variety of different ways Latoya Edwards and Brian are both mm -hmm. big fans of School and Wheels as well as Christy Lee so um, they will be uh, Brian will be there this year but we also have um, we have some new sponsors this year because we expanded um, our program services expanded to Fall River mm -hmm. so Bay Coast Bank is one of our new sponsors this year, mm -hmm. um, as well as Weymouth Bank. And so School on Wheels is in um, seven different communities, mm -hmm. and our newest community is Fall River. So the goal is really to draw in people from all over the area. The event is at Borderland State Park, which people really thrive in, and that is a very fun family affair. And so we usually have around 500 to 600 people. Mm. Um, you know, equally split up between the 5K race and the 2.6 mile walk. A lot of baby carriages, a lot of pets, and um, we are really grateful that Crescent Credit Union continues to be our anchor sponsor and, and really um, support this event for us. And you do that event rain or shine. We do it rain I or remember shine. one year oh. Jay was in a, I think he was in a plastic bag by yeah. the end of the day And or it something. was raining, snowing sideways, mm -hmm. and, um, and 500 people still showed up. Yeah. And what was amazing to me is that, you know, people really get that they can come together as a community to help people in their backyard that are impacted by homelessness and that they, you know, people of all ages and all fitness levels can really partake and, and be involved in this. We have some people who plan their family reunions around this event. Mm. Well, we do a show that features all the different road races and, and walks that are going on. We did the first one last week, which was the Mark Creedon road race in right. Brockton. Yeah. We follow yours. Um, we There's one over, the Oak County Hospice is over at the Irish Cultural Center. Yes. So we usually get about five walks and runs in under our belt, and then we put a show together. That's great. So Jay loves great coming idea. to yours. And, yeah. uh, you know, if you think about and it, Cheryl. we appreciate Cheryl, you guys being there every year. A lot of people are one or two paychecks away from being homeless themselves. Absolutely. The, the, the biggest difficulty is the children that you're right. dealing with out there, and that's your focus. That's our focus. So, you know, I started this program 12 years ago out of my home in Easton, and mm -hmm. um, 12 years later, family homelessness is still on the rise. It's, you know, it's a crisis in our state. It's estimated that there's 37,000 homeless children in our state experiencing homelessness. Um, we have the average age of a homeless person in Massachusetts being eight years old. And um, you, you, it's so true. I mean, we service kids that are living in family shelters, but now over these 12 years is that as family homelessness has grown and the shelters are filled to capacity, we now have this, you know, these families that are living in motels, mm -hmm. not just for three months to six months so they can get into housing, we're talking about, we have families that are living in the motels a year, two years. We have some families who've been in the motel for three years. Mm -hmm. um, one of our college graduates, we've got 35 kids in college, which we love to brag about. We've had mm -hmm. eight college grads. Um, we have five more graduating this spring. And one of those students lived in the Brockton Motel over here for two and a half years with her mom and is graduating from Bunker Hill Community College. And we have a partnership with Bridgewater State where it's called the Bridgewater Scholar Program. And mm -hmm. she is one going to be selected as our new scholar for the fall. So she's going to be um, going to Bridgewater State in the fall to continue her programming in criminal justice. Mm -hmm. She'll be able to live on campus and, um, you know, to have her own dorm room and take her shopping for her dorm supplies, which School on Wheels wraps ourselves around them in a way that really involves not just, you know, 
helping with tuition and books and and tutoring, but to help with giving them the resources they need to feel like a normal college student. Mm -hmm. You know, one of our students came down to the shelter um, to our tutoring session last week, and she brought down her violin case, and she was playing the violin. Mm -hmm. And all the tutors are sitting there with tears in their eyes, thinking, "Here's a young girl who's you know 14 years old, just started in high school, playing the violin, and wants to go to New York." on this field trip, it costs $200. Mm -hmm. So School on Wheels is paying for that $200, and that's what this funds from the road race will do. It allows our kids to have the dorm supplies to move into from a hotel room into their own dorm room, to be able to go on a field trip with their other classmates, mm -hmm. to have the backpacks and school supplies that they need, to have the one-on-one -on -one tutoring and mentoring. Um, that really will help them move beyond their circumstances, because if you think about education, it is the only equalizer for our students. Absolutely. How easy is it to participate in this event? It is so easy. Go online. We're registering online. If you go to our website, which is www.sowma.org, you'll see um, on the home page, you'll see a link there that will take you right to the uh, road race page. It's uh, $25 pre-registration mm -hmm. and $30 the day of. And again, kids uh, six and under, there's no charge. We have, we have what's really moving is one of our students that is at the Lewis and Family Shelter right over here mm -hmm. on, um, is putting together a team. So she, the tutor was talking to her about the road race and she says, I want to put together a team. So they're bringing a team from the Lewis and Family Shelter. Nice. We have a bus coming down that the shelter director in New Bedford, our Harbor House shelter, are bringing the families and, um, and paying for them to come down to have a day at the park where they can, you know, we have some kids activities. We've got, we had chair massage last year and hoping to do that again. And, um, but just a fun outdoor event for the family. So it was really cool because we're called School on Wheels and to see a school bus pull up in the parking lot at Portland State Park, the school bus arrived and here our families and children are able to be a part of our event and walk side by side with the people that are helping to support their ed children's education. So to wrap it up, again, it's April 30th. It's a Saturday start time? It's um, 8 o'clock registration, 9 o'clock start time. Okay. And uh, we're going to get Jay from point A to point B. He's going to come over and cover that yeah, event. And then there's fantastic. another big community event. And then Sunday is the walk, the cancer walk for our signature. So fantastic. it's a busy it's a busy weekend. But we're yeah, glad to help you promote it. Maybe uh, I won't spring this to you on air, but I, I should talk to you about the following the student you were mentioning, maybe at Bridgewater, and do a little feature on that. You yeah, guys do great work. Yeah. Keep it up. We'll help you promote it. And Thank you so uh, much. good luck with the event. Thank you so much. Thank great you, to Cheryl. be here. Appreciate it. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.